nicest weather of the week for our Friday this morning. We actually saw the 60s, the coolest morning we've actually had here in Augusta since July 11th, believe it or not. So it's been a little while since we've uh, been hitting the mid 60s, so that felt good this morning. This afternoon was a little bit warmer for us. We got up to 93 degrees, which is right at average for us here in town. Temperatures right now, if you're stepping out, maybe heading out to those high school football games. Right now we're at 91 here in Augusta. Uh, nice northwest wind between 5 to 10, but the uh, the best thing about the forecast of this evening is that dew points are near 60 degrees. So luckily our temperature is exactly what the heat index is. We don't have to worry about that humidity factor uh, making it feel hotter. So looking good for Friday night lights tonight. If your team's playing, best of luck to you. We got temperatures around kickoff still near 90, but we'll fall down to the 70s by the end of game time. So a great night on tap, mostly clear skies and thankfully no storms in the forecast for those games tonight. Storm chances look to remain fairly low even even through the weekend, you can see uh, by Sunday afternoon, we do bring back just a less than 20% chance of maybe a hit or miss storm across mainly the central and southern CS race. So these are all going to be thanks to sea breeze storms pushing inland. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So for this evening and to tonight, uh, comfortable conditions will fall down to the 60s by daybreak Saturday. Should be a great start to the weekend. Tomorrow afternoon, winds will be out of the northeast, so we'll see a northeast wind. That'll keep that lower humidity in place, so still feeling pretty good most of the day Saturday. And with that drier air in place, that should keep the storms away from us uh, here in the CS array, so not too bad for our Saturday afternoon. Now on Sunday, it gets a little bit different. We start to increase our humidity, so it's going to be a little bit more conducive for those storms to potentially move a little bit further inland along that sea breeze front. So when I talk about the sea breeze, I'm talking about this right here. So this is what gradually just moves inland as we heat up throughout the day. So this is what's going to allow maybe a few thunderstorms to kind of get closer to us as we do head into the afternoon. Right now the threat looks or your best chance to see rain Sunday would definitely be south of Augusta. So if you're in our viewing area, but say you're a shorter drive to I-16 or I-95, you would have those better chance for showers and storms Sunday afternoon. They are expected to fall apart by the time they reach us here in Augusta, uh, but technically not 0% chance of rain Sunday uh, for the entire region. Lake forecast looks good. I would imagine Sunday those storms do not get anywhere close to Clarksville Lake, so staying nice and sunny through the weekend there. Lake temps right now at 86 degrees and current level around 328. Northeast wind tomorrow at Clarks Hill, but then that wind direction will change out of the southeast Sunday, and that's where our little bit more of humidity does start to work its way into the forecast. So even though our high temperatures both days this weekend are similar, it's most likely going to feel a little bit hotter Sunday because that's where it's going to be a little bit more humid outside for us, and the heat index could potentially get into the upper 90s Sunday afternoon. But overall, even past the weekend, we're not expecting much rain relief. And the thing is, once we get past the weekend, that's when we're expecting to really crank up our temperatures, potentially getting close to 100 by next Tuesday. It's all going to be thanks to this big upper level ridge. So this is looking at our jet stream forecast. Our jet stream just helps separate warm air and cold air at the surface, but this is actually an upper level wind current that uh, circulates the globe. Uh, so they form these troughs, troughs and ridges. Whenever we have a ridge over us, that creates sinking air, which compresses it, it heats it up, and it also kind of dries us up. It really prevents any uh, showers or storms from developing. So as this ridge continues to nudge eastward, it's getting a nudge actually from Hurricane Hillary that is forecast to hit Southern California early next week. So that's why that hotter weather is going to kind of be pushing towards us. And once this ridge is on top of us early next week, it's going to stick around pretty much all week long. So not only will hot temperatures be found uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week, but they'll most likely stick around all the way through around this time next week through at least next Friday. So a heads up, some hotter temperatures definitely heading our way. Want to give you a quick tropical update. The tropics are definitely getting a little bit more busy. Um, you can see we have four different areas of concern. So this first wave is supposed to go into the Gulf of Mexico. We have another wave about to approach the Caribbean see and then these two out in more open Atlantic, they actually have a better chance of developing into a name storm over the next seven days. But when to first take a look at this one, this one actually is expected to slowly drift into the Gulf of Mexico. So this is just kind of a disorganized clusters of showers and storms as it moves over these really warm ocean waters over the Florida Straits and into the Gulf. It's, it's going to be entering an environment to where these storms can intensify. So that's why the National Hurricane Center bumping up that chance to a 40% over the next seven days. So that one 
deserves monitoring, but overall our, our upper level kind of steering currents for this system next week would kind of push it into Texas. So not really going to be a concern for us here locally. And we're just going to continue down the line. So this next wave uh, heading towards St. Lucia, Antigua, Barbuda, 10 to 30% chance over the next week. So that one's less of a concern, but these two actually have a decent chance over the next seven days. So 40% for that one and then 70% for this one. This one definitely looks the healthiest. You can see it's actually starting to get a little bit more organized and this should become uh, tropical storm Emily here with probably most likely within the next couple of days. So that will be the next name on the list. But what's making the headlines right now is Hillary. So cat four hurricane right now about to impact the Baja Peninsula. So this is what's going to be continuing towards the north. And once it moves north, it's going to weaken pretty quickly since it's going to be interacting with cooler ocean temperatures, but still going to bring a big flood risk to Southern California. Take a look at this LA, San Diego, all in the code of uncertainty. So they're getting ready for potentially a year's worth of rain in some portions of uh, California within a day. So this is going to cause likely some catastrophic flooding in a few spots. Um, definitely keep those people in your prayers heading into next week. Here's our seven day forecast. We got mid nineties into the weekend and then it starts to get really hot again, folks. So summer's looking like it's going to try to go out with a bang as we roll into the month of September 96 Monday, 100 Tuesday, then upper nineties Wednesday through next Friday. So hopefully you've been able to enjoy a little bit of uh, cooler weather over the last couple of days because it's not going to stick around too long for us. If you're heading out to those high school football games, best of luck and enjoy the nice weather. We'll see you again coming up on News 12 at 11.